What is going on everyone? My name is Jason and this is the Dravo Excalibur Mechanical Keyboard. A couple months ago, I did a review on the Dravo Caliber Mechanical Keyboard. Now, if you didn't get a chance to catch that video, look at the right hand corner right now and go check it out. It's truly an awesome keyboard and one of my favorites. Now, a few weeks after posting that review, I got a comment from someone that was kind of surprising. Yes, Dravo somehow stumbled across my video, something I really didn't expect would ever happen. We actually got to talking and I asked if there was any other keyboards they have that I could check out. A couple days later after that conversation, I got this in the mail the Dravo Excalibur Mechanical Keyboard. The Excalibur is an 84 key, 75% mechanical keyboard, sitting in between the 10 keyless and the 60% boards. I actually really like this size. It crams in a lot of functionality without sacrificing the size of the keys. I hate it when the directional pad or the backspace key is sized down in compact keyboards. There's something that really soothes the obsessive compulsive in me when I see the keyboard has no gaps in the key layout. It's like a complete puzzle and I love the simplicity of the overall design. You have a full row of function keys which makes the keyboard taller than other compact keyboards, making for a symmetrical, eye-pleasing design. The base plate on the keyboard is an extremely sturdy piece of metal that pairs well with the white keycaps, really blending in well with the setup I have going on on my desk. Because of the material, the keyboard is heavier than most keyboards I'm used to, coming in at around 740 grams. I love the rounded edges of the base plate. It makes the keyboard look a lot more elegant compared to having sharp edges, which would make it look a little bit more gamish. I personally love the floating keycap design, especially because of the full key layout. It just gives a very clean look with a slight edge but nothing over the top. On the back there are two raised feet at the top half of the keyboard and two flat feet on the other half. Now the good thing is that the feet are all covered with rubber ensuring that the keyboard doesn't slide around when on a slick surface. However the two raised feet can't be adjusted so the keyboard is stuck in this fixed position. Not that it's bad I've typed extended periods of time on this thing without feeling uncomfortable but it would have been nice to have the ability to lay the keyboard completely flat. On the top left portion of the keyboard you have the micro USB in that wires the keyboard to your computer via USB. The keyboard came with a white cable that blends in nice with the overall design, though it would have been nicer I feel if it was braided. The Excalibur comes with double shot ABS keycaps with enhanced texture to feel better on the fingers and prevent them from getting greasy or faded. They feel nice despite not being PBT keycaps, definitely better than what you see on other cheap, low-end mechanical keyboards. What I'm not a big fan of is the font. Again, Dravo is gone with a font that is more gamer friendly as opposed to something more minimalistic, and because this is a compact keyboard, they've crammed in some secondary functions shown on the front side of some of the keycaps. Though having more functionality is nice, it does make some parts of the keyboard look crowded and I would have much preferred a clean and simple layout. One of my favorite features of this keyboard is the white backlighting. I love that Dravo decided to stick with just white and not go with a tacky rainbow RGB backlighting. It makes the keyboard more elegant and refined. The brightness can be controlled by holding the function key and using the up and down keys on the directional pad and though it does offer a variety of fun lighting themes, I prefer the plain backlighting from my simple desk setup. It adds a nice warmness to the desk without being overly distracting or childish. The switches under these keys are the Otemo Brown switches. Otemo switches are clones of the classic Cherry MX switches and I went with the brown this time because I wanted a tactile bump without the loud clack of a blue switch. Something that I personally enjoy but my wife can't stand. Overall the typing experience is great. Majority of the keys are full size so no major adjustments need to be made while typing. I would have liked a little bit more tactile feedback from the switch but the brown switches here are fine. It still makes for a pleasing typing experience and you still get a pleasing typing sound without being as obnoxious as blue switches. Here's a quick sound test. At the end of the day, the Dravo Excalibur is a solid keyboard. For the $69.99 price tag, you're getting a beautifully designed board packed with features often exclusive to more expensive offerings. Again, Dravo has pushed the limits on designing a premium mechanical keyboard at a very competitive price, something that I think is great. Now, if you want more information on the Excalibur, I'll leave some links in the description below. That's about it for this review. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think about this keyboard. Do you think it's worth it? Yes or no? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, to the channel yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button and to turn on notifications so you can stay up to date with all my other reviews. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.